Yeah, hey guys. Um, I'm going to show you how to turn this thing. Right. Uh, I'm going to turn this thing onto. The this is my common engine that I built myself. It's pretty cool. Take some drums. This is how it works. You can pretty easily make some really really glitchy things. And I'm now going to show you how to like use it. Because uh, it's controlled with MIDI. And yeah. Okay guys, so the first thing we're going to do is create the Rex loop or like some sound then we're going to add the effect tricks so it's working you see no, nothing happens now but we're going to create the track for the effect trick And the thing is, works. You activate the effects with mini. Yeah. The effects you you have active, uh, 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 like uh, activate effects from like. I think Yeah, from C1 to... Yeah, to... I don't know what's the... Uh, a, a, a flat. Yeah. So, then you like... Click out the different effects. Like this. We'll do this. Already, we have a pretty glitchy thing. Oh, can like random, randomize the notes uh, in the there. Okay, I like this part. Let's try something else. Maybe. That was already pretty fucked up.
Yeah, and uh, I will post a download link in the video, and it's pretty cool. And yeah, write to me if you have any question about it. Yeah, and you you will also need like the CV suit and the pulsar, but uh, the CV suit is free. And I think most of you guys have pulsar too, so. Uh, yeah, and and you also need uh, this groove melon. It's free also. You can download it in the rack store. But yeah, uh, I hope you enjoy it. And um, like, I'm not going to show you how you build it because you can just download it and see uh, how I did it. It's it's a lot of CV signals. Uh, it's, it's sent to the effect. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you.